Hi, my name is Matt Sexton and I'm a freelancing charity worker supporting fundraising with email marketing and data management. This is a tutorial for UK charities receiving regular standing order payments from donors into a bank account. I'll be showing you a technique to check these payments, which I do offer on a freelance basis. So if you're currently checking your bank statements by hand and wanting to speed up the process, please do get in touch. I'll show how you can quickly check your bank statement against the payments you're expecting to receive and then upload the data to HMRC's website to claim the gift aid on the qualifying donations. And that's an additional 25%. And just so you know, I'll be using sample data so none of the data you'll see comes from real people. This process comes after you have registered your charity with HMRC as being eligible for the gift aid scheme. You'll need the necessary passwords to access your charity's account on HMRC's website so you can make your gift aid claim online. There are two ways your donors will have set up these standing orders. They'll have either done it by completing a form and having you send that onto your bank or the donors would have set up these standing order payments themselves using online banking. I'll be using FileMaker software to show you how you can connect your bank statement with a list of donors. You'll have downloaded your bank statement from your bank's website. Now many charity databases or CRMs will do this for you. But if you don't have a system or your system doesn't do it, you can use a technique similar to this. I use FileMaker Pro database software because you can easily import data from different sources, perform the calculations and connect different pieces of data. You can also export the data out again into a more conventional format such as an Excel spreadsheet or PDF document. It's a job that can be done just after the end of the financial year to ensure you claim the full allocation of gift aid income for that year. This will result in your accounts accurately reflecting how much you're entitled to claim from your donors. So the database consists of two tables, a contacts table and a bank statement table. Now a table is very similar to a spreadsheet, a list of rows separated into columns or fields. In the contacts table, the important fields are the house number, which takes data from the first line of the address but extracts only the house number. This is because HMRC's spreadsheet just requires this piece of information from the donor's address along with the postcode. The gift aid field shows if a donor has completed a gift aid declaration by showing the date the declaration was made. The declaration comes in different formats, but in this example, we'll work on the basis that a form was signed that allows you to claim for any donation received in the last four years and any donation received in the future. You'll need to remind these donors to tell you if their tax status changes so you can stop claiming gift aid if necessary. For the purposes of this example, if the field is empty, it means that the donor has not signed a gift aid declaration. The name of the bank statement is the key piece of information because it must match the description field on the bank statement for the connection between the two tables to be made. The relationship between these two tables is shown on this screenshot from within FileMaker software. First of all, I'll show information from the contacts table and I'll show the bank data in a similar way, although there isn't any data here yet. But once I import the bank statement data, a connection will be established between the two tables. So I'll now import the data from the bank statement. In this file of sample data, I'm only importing the standing order donations, but normally a bank statement would list both debits and credits and income from other sources apart from standing orders. And you can see now that the data from the bank statement is connecting with a contacts database based on the description field in the bank statement. So now the connection has been made, I can display information from the contacts table alongside the data from the bank statement. So here is the bank statement, and here is the same data but with related data from the contacts table. At a later date, 
I'll need to check that the donation amount is what we expect to receive and to follow up people that have stopped paying or have changed the amount that they pay. I'll also want to make sure that I continue to ask people if their tax status changes so that we can either start claiming gift aid or stop claiming. Another thing to be aware of is the habit some banks have of altering the description field, which means that a match might not be made showing donations without connecting them to one of your contacts. So now I want to find only those donations whose donors have completed a gift aid declaration form. So I'll perform a find which excludes standing orders where a date isn't present. Once I've found all those donations, I'll sort them so that any standing orders from the same person are grouped together and a total for each donor is displayed. I can now export this data and import it into the template provided by HMRC. I then log into HMRC's website and upload the file. As I'm using a Mac, I have to download a program called LibreOffice and copy the data from an Excel spreadsheet into this spreadsheet. Thanks for watching and please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Please do visit my website, mattsexton.uk, to find out more about the services that I'm offering to small charities.